guys, Janice Beekeeper here, and today I have another episode of 2x2 Tuesday. So in this episode, I'm going to be teaching you a set of CLLs. This video specifically is going to be dedicated to the Pi set. I chose this set to start out with because it seems like a relatively easy set, but uh, it's, there also can be some difficulties with it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be sort of a, another series sort of thing, but I'm just going to be doing it along with 2x2 Tuesday. But yeah, eventually we will get through all of the CLL sets. Um, so yeah guys, I'll set up the first case and get right back to you. Okay guys, so before I get into this first set here, I'm just going to go over which pieces you need to be looking at when recognizing pie set cases. So when you're recognizing them, you need to be looking at these, just the whole top layer. Just look at the top layer. You don't have to look at anything around. Except, of course, to recognize that it is a pie set. The pie set being that there's headlights and then two opposite bars here. But anyways, onto the specific set. As you can see on the top, we have opposite colors right here. And then on this side, we have a bar of solid color. So opposites and then a bar of solid color. And you hold it in this position with the headlights here and then the opposite pieces right here. And that ALG is, and the ALGs will also be going across the top of the screen. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then A, U, F, of course. But yeah, so that is the first case. Okay, guys, here's the next one. This one is quite similar to the last one. Um, but instead of opposites here and a solid bar of color here, now it's opposite with the solid bar of color here and opposite colors here. You hold it in the same position as the last case and do this algorithm. R prime, F prime, U prime, F, U prime, R, U, R prime, U, R, then A, U, F. On to the next one. Okay guys, for this next case here, as you can see on top, you have two solid bars of color on both sides. And instead of holding it like this, like you did in the last case, you're now going to hold it like this, with the headlights right here, and the two opposite pieces here. So yeah, you do that, and then you do this algorithm. R prime, F, R, F prime. R, U prime, R prime, U prime. R, U prime, R prime. Next one. Okay guys, here's the next case. For this case, you just have a checkerboard pattern on top. So that's basically all you need to note is that it is a checkerboard pattern. <clears throat> and instead of holding it on the side like this, or like this, you're actually going to hold it with the headlights on the front. So you're going to hold it like this and do this algorithm. R U prime, R U prime, R prime, U R prime, F R2, F prime. Next one. Okay guys, for these next two, this one being the first one of course, they're quite similar, so you just need to, you know, learn how to recognize them and everything. Um, so for this case here, you hold it like this, with the headlights here and the opposites here. Um, and for this one, you have two diagonally that are the same color on top, and two diagonally that are opposite. And so when the diagonals are going this way, with the corner like in the front here, then you're going to do this case. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U2, R prime, F, R, F prime, and then A, U, F. Okay guys, um, for this case, it's very similar to the last one, where you have two that are diagonal on top, and two that are opposite on top. But in this case, you see that they've switched positions, where the same colors were here before, the opposites are now there, and where the opposites were here before, the same colors are now there. And you also hold it in the opposite place, whereas you hold held the last one here before, now you're going to hold it here. So you're going to hold it right here, and do this algorithm. L prime, U2, L, U, L prime, U prime, L, U2, L, F prime, L, F, and then A, F. 
And anyways, guys, that is a, about it for the Pi CLOs. If you have any questions and or concerns, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!